Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. Today, let us look at how at the rate of controller advice and at the rate of rest controller advice works. In our previous example, we looked at at the rate of exception handler. The drawback in using at the rate of exception handler directly in a controller class is it will be active only inside that controller. If there are multiple controllers, you need to segregate the exception handlers into a common class so that it looks elegant and easy to maintain in future. So let us see how other rate of controller advice does that job easily. We are in our simple Spring Boot app application with our previous example. So what I have done here is I create a new package called handler and inside the package I have a student exception handler. If you look at the student exception handler, I have annotated the class with at the rate of controller advice. And what I did is like I moved the method that we had inside the uh, controller class here. So let's go back and let's remove this method completely. Okay, I have removed this method. So technically speaking, all the exceptions that occur in multiple controllers should be caught here and the corresponding response should be sent back to the user. Let's see how it works. Okay, our Tomcat server has started. Okay, I have my postman opened up here and let's try to hit the send button without the last name and let's see what is the response that we get. Okay, we have received the response, but what is the difference that you noticed here from, from our previous response? We are getting the default JSON message here with the timestamp, status, error, and the message that we set along with the path. Why do you think that we are getting this message? This is because there is no other rate of response body annotation in the method. If you annotate a method with other rate of response body, Spring will try to convert its return value and write it to the HTTP response automatically. Let us try to add other rate of response body to our method and see what is the response that we get again. Okay, so we are here at the student exception handler, which is our controller advice class. And I'm going to add other rate of response body annotation to my method. Let me stop my server and then start it again. The server is up and running. Opened up the postman now and let us again send the request. This time, do you see the difference? We have got just a string return that is last name is required field. We didn't get the default JSON uh, element message that we got earlier. So now do you see the difference when we added the other rate of response body? If your application is a RESTful service, then you can change this controller advice to at the rate of REST controller advice. REST controller advice combines both at the rate of controller advice and at the rate of response body in it. So we don't need to explicitly annotate the method with at the rate of response body. Now let us change our controller advice annotation. I'm going to change it into at the rate of REST controller advice and I'm going to remove the response body. Let me stop the server and start it again. The server is up and running and I'm going to open up the postman. Let us send the request again and see what is the response to we get. Are we going to get the default JSON response or are we going to get the correct response that we are expecting. Click on sending and we have got the right response that is last name is a required field. Now do you see the difference? The same goes for other rate of controller and other rate of press controllers because other rate of response body is done by default when you use other rate of controller. Here are some interview questions. What is the difference between other rate of controller advice and other rate of risk controller advice? What is the difference between other rate of controller 
and at the rate of rest controller. How will you handle exception in Spring Boot application? What is the disadvantage of using at the rate of exception handler directly in the controller class? Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more such videos.